Uh, first off, we got to talk about the name. Everybody around here was like, okay, it's USS, but that stands for Ubiquitous Synergy Seeker, which is incredibly hard to say. And then Ashbu Schultz and Human Kebab. Where the hell did you come up with these names? Well, first of all, Ash Buchholz is his real name. I find that incredibly that's, hard to believe, but I'll buy it. Which is hilarious, because that's his real name. Driver's license, now. <laughs> I don't know if you can find it, though. Citadel Hill, dirty pants. I rolled down the hill at Citadel Hill. And I'm By himself. I thought I lost my wallet and my phone. <laughs> if anybody oh. finds an Ash Buchholz wallet, we'll, uh, we'll accept it here it's at the station. It's a great time. <laughs> the, the human kebab... Uh, Alias is, was like stand-up comedy, rap, okay. and then it just kind of stuck, and it's, I don't know, who, who in Canadian music has a handle nowadays? Not too many. It's like, Ben Kowalowitz. It's like, oh, that's his real name. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, Ian Saab, uh, George Pettit. Now, now what about the, the, uh, the USS? Oh, I'll talk to him about that. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's right, just, that's just about uh, shifting paradigms, and just kind of challenging uh, what you may perceive as your normal, what's normal to you. I just kind of say some new words. And uh, learn some new things, and just also just the concept of um, of teamwork, harmony, all these wonderful things that we believe in. Well, when I first saw the human kebab name, I was like human centipede, maybe. But, oh, there, uh, yeah. You know, human you, you might have a lawsuit there. Yeah, the so, human torch was denied a bank loan. <laughs> <laughs> now, according to the bio on your website, you guys met in a beer fridge while working at a golf course. Yes, sir. Not the most common place to meet and start a band. No. How, how did that come about? Well, he had just graduated university, and I just dropped out of college. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot for our education system that you're both in the same year for. <laughs> no, it was amazing. And, um, um, yeah, that was the bottom line, you know, and it just, it just happened kind of instantly. I told him that I, at the time, I was just doing acoustic covers of mid-90s hip-hop songs, and he told me that he was into just, he's hard, he's an encyclopedia of mid-90s hip-hop. So we just dove right in, and uh, then I started to uh, uh, vacation on the on the couch in his parents' basement. And, uh, <laughs> here we are, Halifax. <laughs> one EP and one album later, and, and it's still going strong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get you uh, to play the first tune for us. What do you got first for us? We're gonna play NAOK. Yes. Excellent. NAOK. It's USS in the live hive on Live 105. <laughs> I've got an iPod. Relax, the mirror doesn't 